All right, so to connect Elite Gaming Servers to Content Manager, first two things you're going to want to do is have Content Manager open and have the server page on Elite open. And what you're going to want to do is if you don't have this server tab up at the top in Content Manager, you got to come to the Appearance tab in the Settings and you can check server off and then it'll uh, pop up up at the top here and you'll have this so the first thing you're going to want to do is connect the ports that's how you get it to link in with each other so you need all these ports and the packets and the threads so you come into configure files and then in the server cfg text editor open this up you'll find the three ports right here here's the Hertz and the threads you'll find somewhere as well I was looking at a friends earlier today and it was different looking than mine so it might look different than this but you just need the ports look for the Hertz and then threads once you have those three things or five things actually copied over into these that's basically the server connected to Elite. Um, but you're not done at that point, so once you're done putting those numbers over, you come back to the home screen. However many slots you have, I have a 16 slot server, you would put that for the capacity. This would be where you name your server. It'll be some AC-server or whatever when you start click this to pick tracks pretty straightforward the cars are all done in the entry list uh, one word of advice I would have for this is some tracks have different numbers of pits you always uh, leave this at whatever number you have but if the track only has 10 pits you could only put 10 cars in your entry list kind of thing if you go over that it'll just give you errors the whole time so once you got your name, all your ports set up, pretty much done with this page, just pick what track you want. Then you do the entry list, pick all the cars, and you can uh, pick skins manually or random skin. Under rules, this is where all like the damage and all that stuff is. Different assists that you can disable if you want. Then you got your time dynamic track there's usually two of these here you only need one so you can delete this one if you want it starts on basic weather but if you ever wanted your server to actually be nighttime you need to switch the weather effects and you can click on these dots and you can have it actually change time while the server is running or you can turn that off and then this slider will change the time you can do specific date if you want and you got all the soul weather effects session if you uh you check these off you want to turn the times down all the way especially on this so when the server resets it doesn't take like over a minute for it to actually reset it just quickly goes right back to a new practice you can manually add how much time you want this slider only gives you an hour and a half uh, this page really doesn't have anything on it this one if you ever wanted to like add a discord like this in here you need to check this off otherwise this won't do anything and then it's pretty straightforward you get a link give it a little uh, caption or something once you're done setting up the server you need to save it and then if you go to folder right here there's some extra ones in here you might not have. It's usually only these two and the welcome message. Um, if you go back one, you're going to want to right click this and pin the quick access. What that'll do is make it go right here. So if you're ever in some other thing after uploading something, you'll always be able to just click right back to this and get to where you need to be. So once you've saved it, what you're going to be doing is you come over into Elite you go to file manage CFG and then here are the two files you have so you would delete both of those and then go to upload 
and you can if you aren't on this page already you'd come click that you get these two are the only ones necessary if you have a welcome message you could upload that do that boom that and you hit restart and it should link through and and load it up. Looks like it just restarted with the timer. And that's pretty much it. Pretty straightforward. It might take you a good couple of tries to remember what to do in here. After you save, it's just File Manager, and CFG, delete these two, upload the other ones, back to the home, restart, and that's it. Hopefully this helps a lot of people out because I know when you do it the way this website tells you how to do it, it's pretty shitty, so best of luck out there.